Quickly! Quickly! No time to talk! No time to talk! Oh no! Oh, what happens if I pass out on Ginger Island, you guys? Am I gonna be eaten by a giant snake? Oh my gosh. All right, well, we're about to find out what happens if you pass out on the island after you've been doing some fishing and finding a whole bunch of snake skulls, but we'll return to that in just a second here. But hello, everyone, and welcome back. Oh, I'm actually on Ginger Island. No way. Okay, welcome back to Ginger Island here in Stardew Valley, where I have been away overnight fishing. So I actually went ahead and I did a bunch of fishing because I was just curious what we might be able to fish up in the um, wondrous world of Ginger Island. And the answer, friends, is a whole bunch of super cucumbers. Like what? I don't even know what to do with all of these super cucumbers and snake skull after snake skull after snake skull Like in an anchor like what on earth are we gonna do with all of these guys? This is so interesting So I'm actually gonna empty my pockets over here real quick mummified bat I'm gonna try to take one of those snake skulls to professor snail It's hilarious that I managed to dig up an anchor that may have belonged to ancient pirates while we're here Like that just tickles me pink um but let's go ahead and put all of these things away for just a minute i will go ahead and visit with professor snail as well before we use the return scepter to get back home because today friends today is ironically all about fishing we're actually going to be spending a lot of our day fishing back at home for the golden dorado to work on the aquatic overpopulation quest we have got to go ahead and go on the quest for the golden dorado because we need to complete demetrius's special quest i do not want to lose out on what the biologist of the valley is trying to do so we're absolutely going to go back and help him out with that but before we go i noticed something last night while i was fishing yes another golden coconut so we were actually able to find another coconut hidden on the side of the island all right let me check for any more golden walnuts or walnuts <laughs> any more golden coconuts we got one golden coconut from the dungeon last night and i'm holding out hope that we might be able to get a few more to crack open and we'll take them back to stardew valley and crack them open today let's see that would just give me a bunch of hardwood i actually need a lot of normal lumber for here so i might bring over some of my acorn seeds and just put them all over this field for now and we'll see where that gets us but let's go visit with leo before we leave for the day unfortunately i don't have a present for the kid oh and we're gonna go ahead and take the snake skull over to professor snail Oh, noodle noodles! Omni geodes. Okay. I'll accept Omni geodes. They're not quite what I'm looking for, but I will accept them. I really, 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 really want to be able to get the resort here. And hello, Professor! Snake skull! Yes! So now we just need to get some snake vertebrae, I think. Ah, now this is truly a fascinating piece of natural history. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and see if there's any hints. You know, there's some great fishing on this island. From what I know, many of the fish enjoy nibbling on- <gasps> The fish enjoy nibbling on ancient bones? What? Oh my gosh, we'll have to try that before we leave. Cause that just sounds like really cool. Hang on, so can you put- Wait, can you not put bone fragments? Ancient bones. Well, if you can't put ancient bones there, Oh, maybe it was just a turn of phrase. <laughs> maybe it was just a turn of phrase because, you know, things sink to the bottom of the ocean and fish might enjoy nibbling on the bones down there. I got it. I thought he meant literally, like he just revealed some big deep dark secret and we'd be able to fish for ancient, like fish with bones. No, probably not. All right, well, can we pan anything else out of the river? Anything special? Please be special. Nope, just gold ore. I'm sure many people would be excited about gold ore, but look, we've been there, we've done that. All right, let's keep going. I'll leave behind a few of these things for now. Eventually we'll come back. I'm leaving my bombs here as well. I might as well take the Omni Geodes since it seems like I'm gonna be going over to Gunther with some of these pieces and then headed over to Clint's to crack open the gold coconut. 
All right, but we've got to get back to the village. The quest for the Golden Dorado is today. I am not going to let Demetrius down, even if I have to go late to the, the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. I would go late to that. and It's my favorite festival of the year. It's not raining, so we can't work on the gem birds. Hey, Leo! I'm sad today. Oh, Leo, why? You go on. Have fun. Let me be sad. No, Leo, I don't want you to be sad. Buried near bones. Buried near bones. Hmm. There's a lot of places that could be, but we're going to have to think about it later. Let's head home. All right. And what's next? Siri, <gasps> here's a food from my home that me and my family enjoy. I hope you like it. P.S. Willie helped me write this. From a recipe for boy? That's so awesome. Heck, and look, Demetrius has just given us a specimen from his field study of a rainbow snail. It's er, a rainbow shell. It's a sign. It's a sign we need to go and help Demetrius today, friends. Oh, heck. All right. I also need to get into the village really quickly to try cracking these open. I think we can actually fish in the river for ye oldie, ye oldie Dorado. So let's haul some of this over to Gunther. And then we'll try fishing in the river in the village to like make time as time effective as possible. Hello, friends. No time to talk. Rosestone, please go. Oh, Rosestone, why are you so, so chonky? She can't, she can't wiggle down. No, mayor. Okay, phew, we got past him in time. All right. So let's see what we can do down here, searching for more Dorado. And it's been forever since we have donated anything to the museum. But we can donate this ancient scapula, this ancient tailbone. I think we'll put them over here. Yay! All right, Gunther. <gasps> Warp totem back to the farm. Pumpkins, a, a sloth skeleton piece. Oh, I want to find more bones. If we can find sloth skeleton pieces, that means that I might get a whole sloth skeleton. That's so cool. All right. Meanwhile, I can actually go panning in this river for once because I happen to have a copper pan with me. <laughs> All right. Copper ore, Omni Geodes. Let's crack these open with Clint real quick. And then I am going to spend my time fishing. We need those golden dorados. All right. Give me something good, Clint. Ah, oh, taros. All right, just taro roots. Meanwhile, what's that? Mudstone. Ooh, what's this? Granite. Ooh, iridium ore. That would have been amazing back when we were first starting out. Lunarite, a rock, another rock. Oh, what's that? Shiny! Neptunite. Oh, I don't have enough room in my inventory. Oh, oh, it's tragic. All right, thank you, Clint. How am I going to do any of my fishing with all of this stuff in my inventory? Ah, and if I go back home, then Roastone won't be able to follow me. Oh, geez, Roastone, I've made a mess. All right, come on, Roastone. Let's go to our spot over by the river because I actually can empty things into the chest that's over there. Oh, Penny, I wonder if one day she'll actually be teaching not only the two kids of the, the village, but also Leo. That was so, like, heart-touching, heart-rending that, like, Leo's just like, I don't fit in. I'm lonely. I'm sad today. How can I just leave a child when he's expressing all of that sadness? All right, we'll put all of these things in here for just a minute. Phew, there we go. There's quite a bit going on here. And Willie's actually here today, which is interesting to see. All right, Willie, good to see you. How's the fishing life going for you? Hopefully pretty good. But all right, guys, so I'm actually going to perch. Haha, <laughs> do you get it? Perch, because we're fishing. But I'm going to perch myself right here and do a, a little bit of fishing for a little while. Hopefully I'll be able to get, that's not a Dorado get my hands on those Dorados and some interesting treasure. And then we'll be back once I have something interesting to report. Because otherwise, it's just going to be me and Willie relaxing and having a good time fishing and hopefully finding some more ancient bones hiding in the water. All right. I'll see you guys in just a bit. All right. Come on. 
Come on! There's only a few more minutes left before the fish will stop biting. Come on, come on. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Don't lose this fish. Whatever you do, Siri, don't lose this fish. Don't lose this fish. Oh, please, Siri, don't lose this fish. All right, that's a new one for the Siri songs. Come on. Oh, please, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, don't let it bounce. Don't let it bounce. Don't let it bounce. Don't let it bounce. And... <gasps> to finish it like that you guys we have done it we used the wild bait and managed to haul up not one but two of the golden dorado right at the very end completing the aquatic overpopulation quest that we needed to work on ah thank goodness and we don't even need to turn them in to demetrius we have just managed to complete that i am so relieved i thought we were going to lose out on of all of the quest being able to work with demetrius the biologist and i just i wasn't sure how i was going to handle that if the thing that we failed at for taking care of the farm and taking care of the valley was going to end up being like, oh geez, I need to get all my stuff out of that 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 bucket, that bucket chest. Ah. But it, like, if we failed at helping with the ecology field reports, I just I couldn't wrap my head around how how deeply embarrassed and and ashamed I would have felt. So I'm really glad we were able to go ahead and complete that. Now I have donkey days worth of fish to go ahead and take back. Oh my gosh, we've got so much going on, but I'm so relieved. So the quest for the Golden Dorado is done. We now have a really cool skeleton piece that we can actually take over to our little, our little shed. Heck! And I did manage to find some interesting things today whilst we were over and visiting ginger island so it's been a very fantastic day if you ask me let me put away this neptunite actually does the neptunite go in here all right we have neptunite in here we have a whole bunch of rainbow shells but they should really go like over with some of the other exhibits here's the lumberite and the mudstone mudstone's new i think Excellent, at least new for our personal collection. There's a piece of Jasper. Ah, I love how everything sparkles in here. We've got the Jade constantly going. And you know what, I think instead of working on Jade, now that I know that the rubies are actually needed for trading with the desert, with, is it the desert trader? I think it's the desert trader. I'm actually gonna bop the Crystallarium. And we're gonna have it start working on getting rubies going instead. Actually, I should probably get more crystallariums built. What does it take to build a crystallarium? Gold bars, iridium bars, and a battery pack. Hmm. If I was going to put more beautiful, beautiful gemstones into the crystallarium, what would I pick? Perhaps opal to reflect some beautiful light? Uh, the dwarf gadget I also can move somewhere else. The thunder egg, which I really love because it's just beautiful. The fire opal, aquamarine, and amethyst a lot of the villagers enjoy. I bet it's the topaz, aquamarine, amethyst, and emerald that you probably take, or maybe the ruby, that you take to please the rain birds, the gem birds that show up over at Ginger Island, but we'll worry about that later. All right, let me go ahead and put down the back piece of a giant sloth. Hopefully one day we will find out what purpose it serves. We have a prehistoric skull in here. Oh, I have a bunch of magnerines in here. I didn't know I had a whole bunch of them in here. Um, I'm going to leave the rainbow shell, the mummified bat. And I need to put away... All right. Oh, I need a little espresso. Got to go fast. Once you get used to zooming around Stardew Valley, like nothing else feels right again. All right, up here. No, 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 don't drink that. Just open this chest. There we go. All right, Jade. And then we're going to take the Iridium Ore and the Geodes elsewhere. All right, and let's go. Ah, friends. I am so pleased that we have managed to catch all of those Dorado. I was going to be, just like I said, really embarrassed in front of Demetrius if we didn't manage at least that. All right, got those. I also need more. Oh, noodle doodle worms! Oh, I was hoping they might have something prehistoric and cool for me, but that's okay. I also need more wood. So we'll spend a little bit of time at clearing some of the area. There we go. 
And then let's get these out of the way. And just to see anything small back here. All right, we want to make sure that the trees have room to grow big and strong if they can in the future. But I need more wood because I have been needing just to make random chests to like throw things in all over town. People are just going to be like walking outside and like, why is there a chest here? Oh, it's just Siri being a pack rat once more. Don't worry about it. All right, we'll get these out of the way. So hopefully some of these trees will grow. I'll plant a couple more pines. So we'll restore. This will this will grow back. So I'm not too worried. But yay! All right, so now that the Dorado are taken care of, I'm trying to think, what do I want to work on next? Like, Dance of the Moonlight Jellies is tomorrow. So we absolutely have to enjoy that because it's one of my favorite festivals. And then I guess it's just continuing our work trying to get enough of wherever the these heckin' golden walnuts are hiding on the island. And it seems like a lot of it's just patience. One of the golden islands, I think the, the, um, that Professor Snail gave us a hint that sometimes the golden walnuts will actually show up in the river and you have to pan them out of the river, but I guess you just have to like show up day after day and cross your fingers. All right, can I get any of those? Let's throw away this clay because having some acorns would be really useful. All right. And I can't collect any of those truffles right now. That's fine. All right, hang in there, Rose Stone. How can I... Aha! There's actually a stone here. There. All right, come on, Rose Stone. Phew, but today went by pretty quickly because I actually let most of time flow away uh, since we were focusing on getting the Golden Dorado. But now, tomorrow, we will be able to actually see what Demetrius has waiting for us. And we might even take a little peek and see what Demetrius is going to give us in return for all those Golden Dorado. Good news is we also caught a ton of rainbow trout. So we're like really good on rainbow trout for a little while. A ton of pike. Let's see. Oh, Noodle! Noodle Doodle, are you hanging out in front of our little mock cafe? He totally is. A good little cat. Alright, I'll put these away for now. Let's go crack some geodes. I probably need to, like... Oh! You know, I probably need to leave a chest back at the house on Ginger Island that has like fighting material ready to go. Just like leave the vampire ring there. I could leave the food for fighting there. I don't need to haul it around everywhere. All right, let's get more iridium going. I'm gonna put that away. I wanna crack these geodes cause I am way too curious and have to see what they become. And then we'll get the geodes going. Ah, I love our farm, you guys. I'm so proud of, like, what we've managed to accomplish. Slowly but surely transforming this place into something really special. Oh, Chive! Oh, look, we have another bird! Yes, another duck feather that we can go ahead and take over to Leo as a gift. Meteor's trying to sleep and doesn't want to get off that egg. That's fine. Hang on, Meteor. Got it. All right, and we'll go ahead turn these eggs into mayonnaise. I'm really tickled that we actually had enough time that I could go ahead and take care of the chickens today too. All right. Oh, and speaking of the chickens and everything else, we should have some cloth ready. It's going to be really tricky balancing. And I'll grab that. It is going to be really, really tricky balancing the needs of like two farms, I really don't know how I'm gonna handle that. And it feels weird to like go there without my family because my family is here. <laughs> so I do feel a little bit weird about that. All right, a couple more. I'm so grateful that summer fruit is so abundant. The sturgeon row for caviar and I'm full up. All right. And let's go ahead and sell void eggs, iridium eggs. And I will keep everything else. All right, good night, Rose Stone. 
And you know what, as a special treat, because we had a short day today, we'll go ahead and we will sleep. And when we wake up, we'll check in and see if Demetrius has left a note in the mail. Because it seems to be that's how this tends to work, is you get something in the mail from someone the next day, and it's usually a recipe. And I really want to see what Demetrius might give us. All right, let's run down, leave the fish fish. Oh dear. You know what? We don't need to worry about the ancient fruit wine right now because we've got a lot of a lot of money. So we'll worry about the ancient fruit another night. Uh, okay. Oh, and I forgot to water everything. Because <gasps> I didn't... Oh, Leia didn't see me today. I haven't seen my baby Clover today. What? I didn't say hello to my wife either. I totally forgot. Clover. Clover. I accidentally picked up your futon there, Clover. I didn't mean to take away your toy. Rowan. Oh, I gave him a little kiss in his sleep. <laughs> that was really cute. I mean, I got Iridium over here. I've got another, like, I'm not going to forget how to take care of these plants. Got another pineapple to water down here. All right. Let's go ahead and sleep. Phew. Okay. And then we'll check and see if we got a message from Demetrius. Announcing that he is going to teach us how to make something, I really hope. And then today is actually going to be the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies! Ooh, a main little pineapple is growing. Excellent. Alright, what do we have here? Demetrius, tell me this is you. Yes, I think it's him. Hi, Siri. Thanks for your help with the fish. Nature is usually good at keeping things balanced, but sometimes artificial factors can cause imbalance. I've enclosed a blueprint from a science magazine that you might find interesting. Demetrius. New crafting recipe farm computer? What? I legitimately wasn't expecting that. Scans? What? <laughs> All right. That's going to be fun. I had no idea that was the thing. That was a surprise to me. Wow, and then he's also inviting us to the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. We are going to go to the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies in the morning, or like to next time. And we are also going to go ahead and see exactly what happens if we make a farm computer. <gasps> and what this mysterious new artifact is. So all right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our wonderful quest for the Golden Dorado. And if you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!